Hello guys, good afternoon. I mean, good evening. Uh, this is Ralph with the uh, Witness Without Identity podcast. Guys, um, there's another, uh, there's something else that happened. Another subject that that's very interesting that the uh, Young Turk has brought up that was pretty interesting. Um, uh, one thing I want to say about that subject is it's about the hornets, like the bees and the hornets. I don't know if you heard that that they are home. They are um, hornets, uh, k- killer, killer hornets that have uh, invaded Washington State. They're over there and they are causing a lot of havoc. So they are killing a lot of like bees. And we need the bees for our foods. We need them. They help us with our, uh, with our yeah, like whatever we'll cultivate on the ground. So the bees are helping us. But the the killer hornets are out there killing the, a lot of bees, so it's not good. And there was a episode from the Young Turk where Jenk Yugurt brought up that issue, and and uh, we they were talking about how weird it is that um, the Japanese bees found a strategy how to kill the the big killer hornets. They freaking so uh, there was a video online that shows that the. They bring the killer hornets inside. Uh, they lure him in, and then all the bees, goes, all of them, on the killer hornets. After the killer hornets goes inside, and they lure him, the killer hornets is, is doing the, like a scouting, right? Scouting for where they are, like bees. And uh, so what the bees does is like they they look at it, and then the, the killer hornets come inside their habitat where they live, where they stay. And then the killer hornets makes a move on one of the bees, and all the Japanese bees jump on the killer hornets and they, they, they shake their wings so that they can put like some sort of like um, it's gonna be like very high temperature and that's gonna kill the killer hornets. So he's dead. And after they kill him, uh, the bees leave him and then they remove all the evidence, kind of like a human being. I mean, this is stuff that we do when we commit a crime. You may, you may, you may be do that. They remove all the crime, all the evidence, so that uh, the, 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 all the killer hornets cannot be attracted to come to that location. And they do a very good job at cleaning it. You should see this. It's, a, it's an amazing video. And uh, Jake Hugo from the Young Turks saw this as like, hey, this means that um, for him, what the way he looks at it is like, this means that. Uh, um, there's no God or there's no religion there's no good or bad it's all genetic and stuff like that I think that's what it says yes I, I, I believe in genetics also but but there's nothing that says that genetic cannot be designed by God oh, oh, oh let's forget about designed by God designed by consciousness that's the, that's the issue maybe I, we don't need to use God all the time consciousness those genetic are built by consciousness those bees are acting in a conscious way and they are doing something very with their consciousness and they are witnessing things and they are making decisions and they are moving but definitely i agree with everybody their consciousness is not working like ours definitely we all agree on that but wouldn't it be amazing to understand how this thing works you should see it it looks very human the way they the way they attack the bees and then the way that they, they got rid of the evidence it's amazing i don't understand this i i, I don't get it but i think it's like a, a a very sub a very like subdue uh level of consciousness it's like a very small level of consciousness it shows you the like what like a very mediocre consciousness like where it sees something it sees danger and it reacts to a danger to protect its people uh, you know what i'm saying and that's what the, the beast does and and jake you saw it like as a way to say that oh no this means that it's all genetic there's no god in the in the i don't see it like that i think that there's good and evil the bees when they saw that killer hornets they saw evil coming their way and they had to get rid of it they had to take action this is kind of like us with the coronavirus they acted quickly look at this uh, and then you can look at trump and the, maybe people say oh trump did not act quickly I don't, I don't want to get involved in that but i'm saying that's what they did they acted quickly to save the whole community and it did work out for them for them to kill the bees so maybe we can learn from the bees 
And so they, they acted quickly and they got rid of it, which is beautiful. It's good to, and that, that's the perfect way to do that. Um, so, um, this is where we are. So, uh, so a guy like, um, uh, what's, wait, what's his name? Um, uh, like uh, Jenk, um, for me, when I look at this, uh, a topic like this, I look at it like uh, evolution is fine. We can talk about it. it's probably evolution, it's probably this. But who's, who's behind, who is the one that's saying that this is evolution? We have to understand this too, guys. And that's where the mystery is. It is consciousness. Consciousness names this evolution. You see what I'm saying? So, so for me, unlike other scientists that always go back to evolution, all those things, the Big Bang, we have to give more credit to consciousness because uh, we can witness creation. We can witness many things on the on on the, uh, under the sun or in the universe, and we see some reasoning. We see some 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 calculations. You see it even for the universe. Some stuff makes sense. We need the light. We we, we cannot see without light. And the light needs to warm us up, but at a certain level. So I don't understand why people are having problem with like um, saying that there's some sort of higher consciousness or a consciousness. We came from consciousness, mankind or the, or the universe, or the earth, or the beings on the earth, like the insects or the even us human beings. We came from consciousness because we do show some sort of conscious activity. You see it. You see. You know, consciousness has different levels. So, Jake Huger saw, saw this action of the bees on the killer hornets as a way to deny that there's a God or there's a higher consciousness. I see it as actually as a way that prove that there's a God and there's a higher consciousness. Because that's, 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 that's just amazing how those bees acted like humans. Where the hell that came from? They saw something and they bombed, they jumped on it and then they killed it. They, so they are very smart. So uh, and, and it's funny the young Turks say that they are very smart. So evolution can make things smart. Why is that? That means that evolution maybe is smart, or maybe evolution is conscious. What is evolution? We don't know. Evolution is something a process of thing. Maybe that process is conscious. That's what I'm saying. So maybe the Big Bang was conscious. The, maybe the Big Bang knew that hey, I'm gonna explode. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling people. Like we have to be careful when we say things. Well, we want to go in the way of saying that. Oh no, the Big Bang was just like a Big Bang. No, maybe it was a conscious Big Bang, like a like the atomic bomb drop in, in Japan. Because what we saw from those insects, they were conscious to kill that bee. Consciousness was in the middle of this whole action. That's why we know for fact, right in front of our eye, they were conscious. Now, you can say that evolution but that's not a full proof full proof right now in the present what do you see when those bees act and they see the enemy it's consciousness it's not evolution you i see consciousness they are conscious those bees are conscious where does that come from where does those calculations come from where does those strategies come from that's a mystery we don't know right and we are here and we build things all the time right but we refuse to say the same thing about the universe so we are basically saying the universe, we came out of the universe, we can build things, we, we engineer things, but we're saying that the, the engineering stops with us. It doesn't go above the sun. I think that's a mistake. Thank you, guys. I want to end the, uh, the, the channel like uh, right here. Thank you.